For today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this soft, sheer glam makeup look. A few weeks ago, I showed you how to create a very similar look using more rosy, blushed tones for more of the cooler skin tone. And then this week, we're going to be focusing more on the warmer skin tone and potentially even an olive skin tone as well. Now, before we get started with the look, if you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, make sure you are subscribed below. And if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me know. So to start off this look, I've already applied my face primer and also my eyeshadow primer as well. So we are prepped and ready to go. But before we start applying any makeup, I want to briefly run through the type of shades that we're going to be using today. So we're staying in a golden base. So a lot of golden bronzy tones, our eyeshadows, our blushes, and also our liners and lipsticks. So I'm kind of keeping it in those beigey golden tones to work really well for those warmer skin tones. Pretty much the opposite to what we did last time where we use more of those pinky tones we're going to focus more on the golden tones and definitely let me know which category you fit into so i'm going to start off with the eyes i'm going to start off with this shade which is sort of like a yellowy greeny beigey tone i'm going to apply that with a small brush this is the eo one one of my favorites and this shade is about one shade darker than my skin tone or at least the tan that's on my body but not on my face and we're going to apply this starting first in the crease of the eye. And then blending it down onto the lid. Now a little technique that I like to do is to keep swapping over and back with a clean blending brush. So I use one for applying and then one for blending. So I'm going to be using the E13 by Blank Chemist Cosmetics to softly blend out any harsh lines and to create that soft kind of smoky effect. It's all about applying and then blending. So very slowly build this up, making sure to get that soft blended blurry appearance. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now for under the eye, if you're new to the makeup chair channel, this is what we like to do. We like to take our little brush and we like to squash it down, even though it's a little tricky with very long nails. But we want to apply the shadow underneath the eyes using this technique of fanning out the brush to get really close to those lashes. Or alternatively, you could just use a small pencil brush. I then go in with my blending brush and just very softly sweep this around the area. There's nothing on this brush. It's actually just there for blending. Now our next shade is very similar to the first one, but this time it has a shimmer. You want to use something with like a reflective sheen to it. That's really important for this look. And all I'm going to use is my fingertips to apply this, starting at the lash line and then blending up across the lid. Do not blend it up too far. Keep it low on the lid. And I very lightly apply this just in the center underneath the eyes as well, but that's totally optional. Now eyeliner. So I didn't want to just go for a black smudge liner. I actually wanted to go for more of a bronzy one. And I actually like to test out the different liners, particularly if I'm using a color, to make sure that it's going to work with the original eyeshadow. And this is a nice little technique, is to make sure you're swatching as you're going so that you can see how they're going to look before you actually apply them onto your eye. Because I loved this shade, and then I tried a more bronzier pencil, and I was like, actually, I prefer the bronzier tone. So I'm going to apply this on the lash line, and then just use my fingertips to smudge it out. Alternatively, you can use a brush if you don't feel comfortable using your fingertips, but I love that kind of undone, messy blur that you get with your fingertips. And you can also repeat the same process underneath the lashes on the lower lash line as well. So get it as close to the lashes as possible. And then on the waterline, I'm going to brighten the eyes a little bit and I'm going to be using a nude color. Don't use a white, particularly if you have a warmer skin tone, those nudey shades are a lot better. So pretty much match your skin tone. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. So what I typically do with my mascara is like a new thing that I've been doing is I coat all of the lashes very evenly in one coat and then I softly sweep inwards. So I'm like pulling the mascara wand inwards to add that kind of a fluffy effect. It's also great if you have wide set eyes as well because it brings your eyes closer together. Now, if you're not sure the average spacing of your eye, it's usually about one eye length apart. So whatever the length of your eye is, it usually then should fit in the middle. If you're not sure or just wanna give it a go, you can always just grab your finger and your thumb, measure one eye and then put it in the middle. 
If you poke yourself in the eye, your eyes are close together. And if you have some space, it means your eyes are wider apart. So you can do what I do and bring the mascara in. However, if you're just touching tear duct to tear duct, then you probably have the average spacing. So you can kind of just swap and change however you like. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to grab my F20 and I'm also going to grab my foundation, which went missing. I was having one of those things where it's right in front of you, but you can't see it. Anyway, I went ahead and applied my mineral foundation. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this. Just apply whatever foundation you like to use. I'm using the F20 because I love it so much. Another brush that I also love is the F41. And I'm going to be using this for everything else that we're going to be doing today. So I'm first of all going to take a matte shade that has a cooler or more of a gray undertone. I'm going to be using this to contour my face. And what I do is I take a very small amount and I work this into the hollows of the cheeks. And a really good idea is to keep moving your face around to see where the natural contour is and then just simply emphasize it. I don't like to bring contour shades around the forehead as they can look a little muddy. So that's why I opt for something a little bit warmer. And I can also then use this on the cheeks as well. So when I'm applying this onto the cheeks, I just kind of tap along the upper part of the apple and a little higher as well, basically where I would typically apply blush because I'm then gonna go in with a highlighter, applying it pretty much where I applied the bronzer. So across the top of the cheeks, a little bit on the nose and chin, and kind of anywhere where I want to add just a little bit of a pop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm gonna be amazing if they just popped on, just like that, it'd be magical. Okay, I'm gonna wake up my lips and a little technique that I do is just to kind of kind of smudge my lips a little bit and it wakes them up. And then I'm gonna go in with some lip liner. I'm going to slightly overline using a slightly darker shade. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with a liquid lipstick that's kind of opaque and go over the top of everything. And because we have that darker lip liner there, it kind of just makes everything blend a little bit more. So the overlining isn't as obvious. And that is the finished look. If you enjoyed this one, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. Definitely let me know what other looks you'd like to see. I really wanted to start off with the warm and the cool, but let me know what else you'd like to see. You can also check out more of my videos by clicking the screen now. And definitely check out the description box. And I'm also going to be replying to as many messages as I can. And I have a few things to mention in the comment section as well. So check that out. And I will see you in a video really soon. Stay safe, be kind to yourself, and I'll see you next week.